Welcome to this training session focused on finishing with an English professional side, Hampton and Richmond. Their coach will guide them through all the tips and tricks of two and three touch finishing as they prepare for their weekend game, which they went on to win. How are you guys feeling about your game against Hamill? Short and tough. New manager. They've got a new manager, so you know what that's like. <laughs> Yesterday we worked on the ball coming on like a diagonal angle, touching and finishing. This time we're going to work on it going away from the defender and finishing back across ourselves. You're going to go to the back, you'll then become the shooter. Next person will go the other direction, then you will become the shooter. I know you've just done the warm-up I and mean, normally we would have a passing drill. By the time you're having your second or third go, it should be fired in. Pass is fired in. Start to fill yourself in for now. In the next two to three minutes, we should be hitting our full pace, okay? It's all about the touch. The touch sets the motion, gets the wheels going. You can take a good touch, take the defender out of the game. I know a lot of the time, even there, you would have heard me talking about finishing across the goalkeeper, but it depends on where you are on the pitch. But if you're finishing across the goalkeeper and the keeper saves it, it gives you a rebound. For me, get a clean strike, uh, pick your corner, Hello, my name is Toby Fadenzi, 24-year-old striker playing for Hampton and Richmond on loan from Sutton United. A week in my life looks like a uh, full-time training with Hampton and Richmond, so that's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, supplemented by two or three individual sessions by myself, just where I get my technical bits and my extra little bits for uh, football. So rather unusually, I actually just try and perfect my full game. I am a striker, been a striker for the last three years. But before that, I was a centre back and a right back. And I've literally, over the last five years, played every position on the pitch. So with my individual training, I'd just like to focus on just refining my technical skills so that I'm able to play in whatever system, whatever position, where I'm needed, whatever role for the team. I feel like that's helped with my career as it's given me more of an opportunity on the pitch where I can fill in at left back like I did this season for Sutton, or I can play on the right wing or I can play up top, it's just giving me more opportunities to play football. The advice I would have for young footballers wanting to go pro is to have a mental fortitude. It's a long journey, it's an arduous journey. You're going to go through a lot of upsets, injustices, um, disappointments. You need to be able to learn how to bounce back from it and be able to manage it without getting you uh, too down. So never get too high from your wins and your personal successes and never get too low from the losses. So how you need to picture this is the ball's moving into Josh. You're thinking I can get myself a nice angle. So you start to bring the defender in here. Once you're here and I'm this side, that space is yours. Be strong enough so you get the iron bar out, hold me off, touch, and then another touch in there, and then fire across goal, okay? So the touch we worked on yesterday, round the corner, yes. That one, finish. Or it's two quick touches to get that snapshot, so yes. Just hold it off. Finish it across goal, okay? Yeah, that's the touch. Great finish here. Well done. Remember the defender's here. So if our touch goes there, defender gets a chance. Our touch needs to go across our body where the defender can't get to. And then across the goal. I know you could finish front post. You've already done it. Nice clean finish front post. Right now, work on going across the goal. Because in a match, for firing across goal, keeper saves it, we're going to get a tap in, okay? Now. So, uh, it's, it's heavy. Every Saturday, every Tuesday for the last. Uh, 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 
Yeah. Yeah, September, so. Oh. Heavy. So you're doing mobility every day? Every day, yeah. yeah. Lots of stretching. I want to be able to eventually, maybe in the next year or two, get into the split. And so I can go into a, oh, a split set. That would be a class save. Yeah, 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 Imagine yeah. that. <laughs> so you never know. That's something I've always wanted to try. So. That would be really Hopefully cool. Hopefully you get there. It's hard though. I'm a big boy, so. Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. Sometimes really. my hips, they're not, they're not, they're not designed to go into the head, yeah. but we get close. So whilst we're working on the strikers, this midfield movement in here is so key. We need to know what's behind us. Can you check your shoulder? He's not going to pass until you want the ball. Check the shoulder. Yes. Pull off. Clean touch. Pass it into that back foot. It needs to be sharper in here, okay? It's a touch play. The quicker you get him away in the game, the less chance the defender has of getting in the right position, okay? Run the defender in there. Check. Yes. Big. Touch. Play. But you see how that big touch takes me out of the game. It's too long. It needs to be a tight touch in here to play. Okay. up to a different angle this time okay so this bit remains the same now you're passing diagonal okay and your touch is going to be inside actually i'm not going to tell you where your touch needs to go so you've got two options from diagonal your touch can go back across inside and finish or can take it on your back foot and finish a lot of that will depend on the pass where the pass has gone to if it's going back foot with pace you're probably going to take it across your body. It's been good so far. Keep the tempo up. I need these passes punched in. What's the difference now from that pass into there? It's a bigger distance. The pass is going to have to be punched in a bit more now, okay? life of a physio or the semi-pro team like how often do you work chaos yeah uh, it's all right so we're in um four days a week and then, and yeah. then a game day on a saturday um it's mainly just kind of training and match prep and then, yeah. and then any first aid kind of coverage so it's yeah it's good i'm not i'm by myself i get kind of students in with me to, to, to help with all soft tissue work mm -hmm. um but yeah it's kind of before training before games it's just full on with um rubs mobilizations uh strappings uh, just get, getting the boys ready for, for their performance really. But you guys do go like every week to gym, do yeah, like so a gym all session? Of, all of these boys they've so, got, they have access to gym so it's yeah. just a case of writing out programs. The only thing is this, you want to be kind of one-to-one -one with them or at uh, least have a professional with them especially in those early stages because you want to make sure because it's mainly it's mainly corrective stuff so we want to make mm -hmm. sure that they're doing it right. So right now all the players they have access to gym and they kind of execute on the training plan individually. Well, we hope so. Yeah, we yeah. Hope you, so. at least that's what you like to think. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, that's, fair enough. That's, that's the plan. Nice. That's the plan. Alex Gibson Hammond, left winger, 21. I kind of just try every day. I know that every day 
there'll be some failures so i just try to like get on with it some days are good some days are bad i kind of look at athletes like top athletes they say that sometimes you're not confident but you still have to keep going and persevering so yeah, that's what i do monday to sunday I, I do gym every day like non-stop i try one rest day so i just try get as much as i can out of myself every day so yeah that's that's what i do but no job just football i'd say be confident take on your man even if you lose the ball once go again go again go again and the defensive work is just as important as the attacking work that's my tips. Each week you've got less and less and less. That was the best you've done. The last three games of winning goals will all come from that type of stuff. Get something on that board, get it towards the goal. How important that is. Uh, well done you today. Superb goalkeeper. Well okay, so any of the sessions we do, how trivial you may think they are, they have a big, big impact in games. Okay, your instinct, your reaction.